Puss in Boots Peril's Great Adventure is an updated slash remastered version of a Famicom game entitled Puss in Boots, an adventure around the world in 80 days. Published by Electro Brain for the NES in June of 1990, you play as Toei Animation's mascot Peril as he travels in time to defeat the evil Count Grumman and Dr. Gari Gari. Count Grumman banished Peril to the past because he took pity on a mouse and refused to kill him. Now Peril must travel across the world and time while avoiding the killers Grumman has sent after him. The title is based off the third film in the Puss in Boots series, Puss in Boots Travels Around the World. Peril may also be familiar to fans of Captain N as there's an entire episode dedicated to the game entitled Once Upon a Time Machine. Puss in Boots has a relaxing feel to it. The graphics are bright and simplistic. The NES is certainly capable of better graphics, but they get the job done. The controls are a little floaty, but again, simplistic. Peril has three weapons to choose from, but you're only going to use one outside of the occasional boss fight. There's also a bunch of vehicles to drive, including submarines and hot air balloons. The game is also obviously aimed at kids. There's no challenge to this game until the very last stage, which then ramps into overdrive on difficulty. It makes absolutely no sense, and none of the levels prepare you for the change. The final boss fight is more of a test of random luck than skill, and when you defeat Grumman, all of 15 minutes will have passed. It's a shame that so little was put into this game because at its core Puss in Boots had potential. Throw in some challenges and extended levels beyond a minute, and Peril's Adventures would have been a lot more fun and memorable. Instead, Puss in Boots Peril's Great Adventure is a brief and forgettable title to throw back in the pile after a single playthrough. This is must-skip nostalgia.